I took the top off. I'm dripping like hot sauce. I got blood in this clean wall. Let me give me that mean mouth. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lee Custom. And we back at it again with another vid. But before you even get into that, you don't know what I need y'all to do, right? Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, folks. You already know. But yeah, though, today I'm dropping some more important gems today. Today, we're talking about relationships with money. So I'm, I'm, I'm knowing like a lot of the, the conversations we get into nowadays, a lot of the relationships in the new, um, new generation, it's always about, okay, don't get with a brother if he can, you know, if he can take care of certain things. True story. Rightfully so, you know. Um, I firmly do believe that men are, let's say, providers, providers, in a sense, and not just financial, not just giving you money, but also providers as in providing love, providing shelter, providing a shoulder to cry on, just providing, being a brother, being a friend, you know, we're not even just talking about dating, we're talking about outside, like a man is a provider, so... Rightfully so, I do think that money ties in with relationships for sure. You know, I always I heard um, plenty of quotes. One of my one of the funniest quotes I ever heard was my grandmother told me, Malik, the first time someone gets married is for love, second time is for money. Cause usually in marriages, if it's not infidelity, it usually ends because of someone or matter of fact not just someone both partners not being able to agree on the financial situation or someone not being able to overcome the hump of their financial situation usually the man um but me personally i would say that we as a society need to break off that 50 50 shit it gotta go it has to go 50 50 has to go um i was talking to my uncle a couple months ago, just went out to lunch, and, he, and I was talking to him about relationship problems I was having. He wasn't even talking about financially, just things I was going through. And he told me, "You want to, you want to get with a partner that doesn't go 50/50. You don't want to do that. You want to get a partner that goes 120, 120. We need to give, we need to exert so much energy, like, like it's a job. You know, being in a relationship is just like a job. It's just like having a kid. There's no days off." You can't choose when you want to be a husband. You can't choose when you want to be a boyfriend, a fiance, this, that, and the third, so on and so forth. You cannot choose. So when it comes to the financial side of a relationship, I feel as if you can't pick and choose. Well, no, you should pick and choose how you go about things. So for one, I would say to all of my men, all of my young men out there, However old you are, it doesn't matter. You can take this advice and run with it. Never get into a relationship if you are not mentally satisfied with your financial situation. And you might be like, like, why though? Because at the end of the day, you want to give us somebody that wants you, not your money. Yes. Yeah, of course. That's, that's true. That's literally what we're going for. That's what we want. But at the same token... One thing that I struggle with personally is it's not necessarily what this woman wants from me. It's what I can provide. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool with saying, oh, I don't want a girl that's a gold digger. Cool. But understanding as a man, there are certain responsibilities that you have just as, just as the woman. So with women, they're quote-unquote nurturers by, um, by heart, you know, just being loving, caring people. And with men, we have the, the providing side. And not saying that you can't be both, but that's really what they um, center around men. So I would say personally, when it comes to money and relationships, don't get into a relationship if you are not satisfied with your income, if you're not satisfied, not even just your income. Because income is one thing. Income is one thing. Another thing I'm learning, income is one thing, but sustaining the money you receive is another there's a lot of times where I have friends, and even myself, I touched a certain amount of money, but wow, you don't have anything to show for it. You don't have, you only have so much to show, 
but you've touched this much money, it makes it hard to believe that you even had that much money. You feel me? So don't just be so cautious about how much money you're you're taking. Don't don't always be cautious about how much you're consuming. Be cautious on how to stretch it, how to put money in certain places and allow your money to make residual money for you. Um, don't get in a relationship if you have to worry about what can you provide financially. Once again, I know we're not we're not going for a gold digger. Cool, say what you want. But at the end of the day, as a man in the inside, we all know that we want to be able to provide. We know we want to, you know. So no matter how many posts you women see saying, oh, I want a real one that's going to hold me down. Yeah, of course. We don't want someone that's agenda is what does he have in his pockets. We want someone that has an agenda. Okay, what does he have in his heart? What knowledge can he give me? But you also want to put yourself in a position to where if push comes to shove, it's one thing I'm always, I'm, I'm learning that every single day, that you cannot always think of just what's in front of you. You have to think of what could happen in the future. Um, putting yourself in a position to where you can be able to provide if something comes about. Now, I know we young, we young. Things happen, we're young. But at the end of the day, you, you know how it feel to want to have someone in your corner that you can rely on. Women need that. Men need that. We all need it. Both of us need that. So don't put yourself in that position to where you're in, where you're with, you're in it with someone, but you can't provide them the things that you think they deserve. Now, this this video may miss be may be made. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm not even gonna edit that out. I'm gonna be authentic with y'all. <laughs> this video may be misconstrued or have a misconception by some audiences. I understand. I'm not telling nobody out there to, oh, don't be with no one if you don't have money because all they want is your money. I'm not saying that. It's not where I'm getting at. What I'm saying is put yourself in a situation to where even if you're not big balling, you are comfortable in where you lay. You always want to be comfortable where you lay. And I'm not talking about the bed where you lay your head. I'm talking about you mentally. Mentally. You want to be okay where you lay your head. So when you take that deep breath after that long, that long day and breathe, you want to be able to say, okay, I don't worry about this, that, and the third. When you get in a relationship, there's a lot of things you're going to have to worry about. True. It's, an, it's a whole other human being that you're responsible for, in a sense. So... Be wise and just making decisions, not just for you, but for that person as well. And I really don't like young us young people getting into dating. Me personally, I don't really like getting into dating because I put a bigger responsibility on myself than other people my age, for instance. So, um, example, you could, there's easily a 17-year-old or a 19-year-old my age that doesn't look at relationships and say, oh, let's just go to the movies. Simple dating thing, sex maybe. Just a regular relationship. Me though, I'm always around older people and I have a lot of mentors, so I don't think like a 19 year old when it comes to relationship. I literally think of longevity, dating for marriage, you know, so if that's what you on, if that's the time you on, like if, you are, if you're dating for marriage, listen to this video. Like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel because that's all I'm trying to drop is knowledge. I'm trying to put my young men and women in a position to live in abundance. That's all we're trying to do. You want your partner to be able to be comfortable. Most importantly, you want to be comfortable. You want to put you and that person in a position to be good where you lay your head at. So, fellas. Don't just be getting into relationships if you're not comfortable in, not just in finances. If you're not comfortable in your mental state, your emotional state, your physical state. It's okay to have someone that loves you even though you have shortcomings. We're not perfect. But don't fully get into a relationship until you know you have certain things covered on your end. Love self. Take care of self. And all these things will fall into place. 
I want y'all to stay blessed, stay up, and stay drippy. You already know. Love.